Hi everyone, so today I'm going to tell you how clock and g-clock buffer replacement management policies work and hopefully this video will be helpful to you. Clock algorithm is a variation of LRU or least recently used buffer replacement management policy. It is also known as second chance algorithm. Clock or second chance algorithm works like this. The oldest page is always pointed by the, an iterating pointer each page has a reference bit with either 0 or 1. Each page, when they're first initiated into the buffer, their reference bit is always 0. Whenever a page is accessed, its reference bit is changed to, to 1, and all other page reference bit along the way are changed to 0. When choosing a page for eviction, the clock inspects the reference bit at the pointer location. If reference bit is 1, it will be changed to 0, if the page reference bit is zero, then it will be evicted and replaced with a new page. So as an example, we have a buffer with three frames, which means that the buffer can only contain three pages maximum at a time. We have five pages in the hard disk drive that we want to access. We have an access sequence of A, B, C, A, B, A, D, E. So we start at the top of the access sequence, which is page A. Page A is loaded into the buffer with reference bit of zero. And then after that, page B is loaded into the buffer. Its reference bit is also initialized to zero. Page C is loaded into the buffer next. The reference bit is also initialized to zero. After that, we want to access page A. Page A is already in the buffer, so we don't have to access it from the hard disk drive. So the pointer will go clockwise, it points to A, and it, in, it changes the reference bit from 0 to 1. Next one is page B. The pointer goes clockwise, and it changes the reference bit of B from 0 to The next one is A, and the pointer goes clockwise, pointing to C. The reference bit of C is already 0, so we don't need to do anything. It goes clockwise, and then now it points to A. The reference bit of A is already 1, so we don't do anything to it. The next page in the access sequence is D, and we, are done, we don't have D in the buffer, and the buffer is already full with three pages, so we need to replace one of the pages with D. In order to do that, the pointer will keep going clockwise and change all of the reference bit to 0 until it sees a page with a reference bit of 0, and then it will re evict it and replace it with D starting with A right here. So A, the reference bit of A is changed to 0, and then the pointer goes to B, and it changes the reference bit of B to 0, and then the pointer goes to C, but the reference bit of C is already 0, so we need to evict C and replace this page with the new Now that we have replaced C with D, the pointer goes clockwise back to A. Now in the next access sequence is page E. We don't have page into the buffer, and the buffer is full with three pages. Again, we need to replace one of the pages with E. The pointer points to A, and the reference bit of A is already zero, so we need to evict A and replace it with E. Now that we have replaced A with E, we have completed the whole access sequence. Another variant of clock is called G-clock, which is short name for generalized clock. It is very similar to clock in algorithm with one important catch. Instead of using a reference bit, it's using something called reference counter, which ranges from 0 to infinity. It doesn't just contain 0 or 1. And also, when a page is accessed, it increments its reference counter, and all other pages' reference counter along the way are decremented. When choosing a page for eviction, the clock inspects the reference bit at the pointer location. Same just like clock algorithm, but when the reference counter of the page is more than zero, then g-clock will decrement the reference counter and move on to the next page. If reference bit is zero, then the page will be evicted and replaced with a new page, just like clock. I'll show you an example, just like with clock. So here we go again with buffer with three frames, and we have five pages in the hard disk drive. We have the same access sequence, which is A, B, C, A, B, A, D, E, as previously. 
So first of all, we're going to access A. A will be loaded. Its reference counter will be zero. Moving on to page B, B will be loaded to the buffer with reference counter equals to zero. C is loaded. Its reference counter is also zero. The next one is A again, and because A is already in the buffer, the pointer just needs to increment A from 0 to 1. The next one to be accessed is page B. The pointer goes clockwise, it points to B, and it can increment the page counter from 0 to 1. The next page in the access sequence is A. A is already in the buffer, so the pointer just goes clockwise to C. C C's reference counter is already 0, so we don't have to do anything to it. And then the pointer goes clockwise to A again. And instead of doing nothing, like in the previous example, it actually increments its reference counter from 1 to 2. The next page in the access sequence is D. And because we don't have D in our buffer, and our buffer again is already full with three pages, we need to replace one of the pages with D. So the pointer points to A. It decrements a's reference counter from 2 to 1, it then goes to B, it decrements the reference counter of B from 1 to 0, it goes to C, and because the reference counter of C is already 0, we need to evict C and replace it with the new page D. The pointer then goes clockwise, just like in the previous example, and points back to A. The last page that we have in the access sequence is E. And because we don't have E in that buffer, again, we need to replace one of the pages in the buffer with E. So the pointer points to A with the reference counter of It then decrements the reference counter of A to 0. It moves to B, and it sees that B already has a reference counter of 0. So we will evict B and replace B with E. And that is the end of the access sequence.